Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to be going through the steps of using oil pastels on your uh, murals. Um, you can see that I've started mine. We're going to use a uh, dark paper so that we have a colored ground, kind of as if we were painting on the side of a building. Um, some buildings might be white, but I think that these look really cool on a colored paper and we can kind of use the paper as an accent color as well. So oil pastels work a lot like crayons, but there's so much more that you can do with them. So I'm gonna be working in um, this area here. I've kind of using a rainbow color palette. Um, so the next color that I'm gonna use is a blue. And the first thing that I do is I just go ahead and get some product on, get some material down. And we have this border and that's really so that we can color right to the edge without having to worry about the edge of the table. Um, and that won't be part of your final artwork, that will be trimmed off. So you can go right to that border and even over it a little bit. When I'm applying the material, um, I'm laying it on pretty heavy because the more oil pastel we have on there, the more we can blend. Now what we want to do is we want to change the color once it's in there by adding some other colors to it. So I like to use kind of this dabbing technique to start blending other colors into it. Um, so I'm just going to select some other blues and start working them in there so that it doesn't look like a, a coloring book or a bad crayon job. So you can kind of work in circular motions, the dabbing, you can grab some darker areas. And the more pastel that's on there, the more easily these colors will blend in. So I added some dark, and on top of the dark, I'm going back with some medium to kind of blend that down in. And it's just creating a lot of depth, texture, interest. I can go back with my lighter color even and kind of get that there. So what I'm looking for is different variations of color within each area. Um, you can see here, uh, my yellow needs some more work still. The yellow on black is a little tough, um, so I've got to go back and work that in. I think I might use some of this lighter color in here to pick some of those highlights up a little bit more. Uh, you can see that I've been working with my greens here, um, and then this area I think is looking really nice. This is my reds, and I actually used some black on the edges, which kind of helps blend that paper in. Um, so I went through with some black and then I use the red to blend that back down in. So you can kind of create some shading, some 3D technique using that. Okay. I just want to work a little bit with the letters um, and then uh, I can stop the video. So again, I'm just applying that product down nice and heavy, like I'm coloring it, but you do need to then go back and modify, change, and enhance that color. So I'm looking for other shades of purple, which in this pack I'm not seeing. So I'm just gonna look on the color wheel, find something similar to that. And I think I'll work with some pinks in here. So I'm just gonna start dabbing some pinks in. See that tapping method will really help those colors blend down in than just coloring back and forth. I want my edges to be a little bit darker so I can use a color next to it on the color wheel. I'm gonna use this dark blue. Dab that around the edges. And then I don't want it to stand out too much so I'll go back over it with that purple. All right, so big ideas here I want you guys to remember is that when you're using oil pastel, to start with your main color first, um, put it down pretty heavy so there's a good amount of product there that you can blend into, but then I want you to go back with some other colors, at least another color, to add some variation to it. You want all of your colors to be original. You don't want it to look like anybody else's. Um, so adding these other colors to it can kind of help do that. So what I did here is I added the other colors right on top and then I can go back to that original color and kind of blend down in. So it really gives us kind of that painterly look uh, without using paint. You can also think about using white as a way to like add some highlights. 
You can use your fingers to blend a little bit, um, but it does create more of a smudgy look. I don't tend to do that a lot. I'll do it a little bit. But I did want to add a little bit more highlights here, so I think I'll use the white and then maybe a little pink. Yeah, looks good. There's a lot of different techniques for using oil pastels. If you want to learn more, uh, you can certainly check out the internet. Google oil pastel techniques. See what you can learn. All right, so you can see I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And there we go. So you can see how our letters are really going to pop off now off the background. Uh, so you're going to continue working on these all week. I will see you when we get back. And I hope everybody has a great time on this project and creates a piece of artwork that they are proud of.